Hey everybody, what's up? This is Lance of the Day 4 here. Welcome to episode 8 of my commentary challenge. If you don't already know what I'm doing, I'm playing through the entire game of X-Men Legends and I'll be commentating over it. Where we last left off, we were going through the other part of the Harp facility, taking down these little Harp soldiers. They think they can actually have a chance against us. We are the X-Men. You have no chance. Alright, moving along here. Gonna take down the last Harp security guy. Gonna make sure everybody has health because I don't want to leave the health can behind. I actually didn't mean to hit that explosive barrel right there. I don't know why Wolverine attacked it. I don't know, like, every time that I do that, like, mistakenly hit that canister, for some reason, AI attack, and it always winds up killing me. All right, now these Harper guys will be camped out behind these um, canisters right here. Just use Cyclops Optic Sweep to clear them out. Uh, you know what? These guys are really, really kind of funny because they only can stand in one direction when they shoot. I know that about the Harp Soldiers. They can only stand in one spot. They can't move around and shoot. Well, who is Cyclops just got to level up. Epic, epic. All right, I see two health orbs on the ground so let me see Ooh, wolverine needs the health really bad i didn't know he was taking that much damage all right just gonna destroy these characters right here you know i really don't need a basic targeting implant that's not really a big necessity those only sell to forge and i don't know what other kind of rare finds i'm gonna have in this game so i'm gonna actually save my inventory all right as you guys saw that was pyro on there he's a member of the brotherhood if you don't know who pyro is basically he can control fire but he cannot um summon it himself that's why he has that flamethrower on his back. I actually loved him in the second X-Men movies. Alright, remember what I kept saying, guys. You have to save, save your game every single time. Especially when it's about to be a boss fight, because you never know how those boss fights are going to turn out. Alright, overriding game. Fluent on the coffee. Right, save. Alright, now let's move on. Alright, now that's all taken care of. I'm going to destroy these canisters right here, because I always want to look into those canisters, because you never know what's going to be in them. You want to get as much health as possible, especially since you're going to be fighting the boss. Alright, there's about three hard soldiers down there. Just uh, use Wolverine Slash. You updated his stats right then. It should only take about one Slash. But I'm not going to use the Slash on all of them because you want to conserve energy as well because, like I said, it's going to be a boss fight up ahead. And make sure to keep on just destroying these barrels because since there is going to be a boss fight up ahead, you want to get as much equipment as you can. I'm just going to leave that ring there. It's really unneeded. Whoa, crap. You know, that was actually a surprise that that didn't even damage me. I slashed right into that explosive barrel. Alright, gonna get my last energy orb, and now it's time to face off against Pyro. Oh, it kind of spooked out when I went in there. Haha. <laughs> Lab tech, yeah, I got it, yada. Traitor, oh, Mystique and Toad. Holy crap, are you kidding me? You know, it's amazing for a facility like this that they do not have sprinklers on. Those sprinklers should have went off and put out the fucking fire. Alright, to take out power, you want to basically slow him down because, first of all, he can summon up fire demons. And then he does that attack to where he basically summons a wall of fire. Actually does a lot of damage to your team. Just keep making sure that Iceman has, you know, his energy up so he can keep on freezing them. Because you do not want this guy to keep going fast. He does that wall of fire like he always does. He does it every time you take down, like, about, I don't know, 15 to 10% of his health. Just so he can protect himself. Alright, um, I recommend you can just use Iceman. You can use Wolverine too. Just to get his um, slash attack. That does do a lot of damage on it. You know, that's why we took him down so fast. Because of the power of teamwork. Haha, yes. <laughs> I kind of sound like Sign of Heroes right there. Alright, gonna take down the last energy demon. You know, I actually thought you could put out that fire that he made. But you can't even put that out. Because I thought it was like something behind there. But I tried it before. And for some reason, you cannot put it out. All right, I'm destroying these canisters right here. Remember when I said you're going to have to fight the most annoying people in this game? Well, that's called the Brotherhood Marauders. Basically, they can continually do like a Hawk Smash technique that can keep on damage to your team. And they will spam it because usually they'll be in groups. They'll just continually spam it. They'll hit the ground, create like a big shot wave, and now bounce your team up in the air. And honestly, guys, many times that that has just destroyed my team. I actually had to play through this level a few times to get it right. But they continually destroyed my team. The first time I played through this level, I really wasn't expecting them. And they just slaughtered us. You have to be ready for them. I recommend you use Iceman so right before they do that Hawk Smash thing when they create a sound wave, you can grab them and throw them into the wall because that actually stops them. Okay, on this part, I basically went back to make sure I didn't forget any health orbs or anything because in the progression of this level health will be very very scarce so you want to make sure you go back and get as much as you can you know that's actually helped me out a lot in the game like I said I played through this game twice before I actually did this let's play you know I remember playing this when I was younger but I can't remember every detail so I want to be a little bit more accurate 
because I don't want to play a let's play and not know what I'm talking about because I know you guys don't like that. When you guys see a let's play, you want somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. And that's why I only do games like this. I only review games that I play through and that I know what I'm talking about. I don't just buy a game out of nowhere and then say, oh, come and do a let's play on it because I know you guys want to enjoy it because I want to know what I'm talking about and I couldn't help you at all in this game. All right, taking out these Brotherhood Marauders right here. You know, Marauders actually sound like those guys um, that rode on horseback in The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. I honestly cannot remember their actual names. Do you remember their actual names? Put in the comments. I think it's Majestic or something. Like I said, not really entirely sure. I haven't seen The Mummy in about two years. And we were out of time, guy. Thanks for watching. It's been Lance Day 4. Talk to you later. Peace.